Hey there folks, you've tuned into the App Review channel. This is our very first review, uh, let's make the introduction, I'm Jordan. And I'm Evan. Um, today we'll be reviewing koi Phone by the Blimp Pilots, 99 cents, and voted the number one paid app of 2008. Alright, so koi Pond is basically, what, a simulation of a koi Pond. You touch it, the water, and it, obviously a good thing that they did is it looks so real. The ripple effect. The ripple effect is really nicely done. It's a great app if you're upset about something. It's ridiculously calming. It works, trust me. It's relaxing, it's relaxing. Um, it looks pretty plain at the moment, but if we just click the right corner there. There's a ton of different features. Well, okay. not a ton, but a good number of features. I can change the color of the water. I prefer this color the best. You could add how many fish to a little bit more than that, or a lot. And you can change the number of lily pads. To a little, to a lot, to none at all. And you could also add some calming noises, like bug sounds, or maybe some frogs. frogs. We got the wind. And a bird. And rain sounds. It also adds rain into that. I thought that was pretty uh, nice. The graphics are excellent. They did a really good job. The blue pipes definitely give them their credit. Fish get e really easily scared. You just like touch the water a little bit and they'll just run off. But they'll come back in a few seconds. And you can move the lily pads around to your desired location. We could also change it from day or night, night, day. Change the sound. And you could also click the left corner here and it shows a little few things that they could do. You could shake it. It's kind of hard to see if you actually do it. But if you shake it enough, they can you can feed the fish. Now even though the not real fish they do enjoy a snack. There's a few uh, snack pieces over there. Right there in the corner. It's kind of hard to see because they're really extremely small. You could also hold your finger on there and they'll get scared at first, but in a few seconds, the go. fish will go to your finger. Now, they don't update this app very often. But they do give some new Oh, well, the news is unavailable at the moment and well they also have an about section that just talks about their version well name how to contact them which is their website they also have a few other apps out there one called distant shore we, uh, we might check that out later it requires Wi-Fi so if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection I would not recommend getting that I don't have it, but I know from experiences. And this that is basically it in a nutshell. I know I give this app a nine out of ten just because it's it's in the basic stages right now. There could be a lot they could add, like such as music, some Asian themed music, some flutes or something. I don't know. Something more relaxing. Um, for me, I would give it about an eight out of ten. It's nicely done. There's a few things to do, but not a whole lot. There could be more things to do with the fish. A lot more things they could just generally add on. And uh, that's about it for our that's review. That's fun in a nutshell. But if you're looking for a game, this is definitely not for you. It's just purely entertainment and relaxation. Pass the time out. Definitely, definitely. Uh, we accept all comments and reviews. Positive and negative. You can just add whatever you're feeling. Please subscribe. And, uh, we'll do another review soon enough. And We're not going to promise any dates, but we'll get back. We'll upload some as soon as we can. Um, thank you. Goodbye. Later.